Just behind the scenes, Rick. Yeah. I like it how you've taken over the audio to finish <laughs> providing your own music. <laughs> oh, Ron Who playlist. I'm like, is this a Friday Sometimes thing? Sometimes I just want to hear a souvenir. <laughs> exactly. Today. Okay. Sunday. So today's high looks pretty good. You want to check out this. Jimmy, don't forget the sunblock. Yes, it is Friday lights. Good morning. Things are still looking good this Friday. There are currently no accidents to report, and let's hope it stays that way. So we're just going to take a look at different parts of the valley to see how things are looking. 67th Avenue traffic is flowing really well, and that's always good news. Let's head over to the maps and take a look at there. We got a lot of green on the map which means things are going at normal speeds. So let's give a closer look at the 17 south down, southbound at McDowell. We have a good amount of cars going southbound, but on northbound, things are kind of clear over there. And then let's give you another look at the 10 at 16th Street. Closest to us is heading westbound. On the other side is heading eastbound, and there's only a sprinkle of cars on there. So go ahead and tweet me and let me know which part of the valley you guys are heading to, and I'll go ahead and take a look at it for you. Guys? All right, Vanessa, thank you. 630. Uh, if, uh, in fact, anybody was seriously hurt enough, uh, has already come and gone, and now they're just in the process. You can see that literally they're doing the measurements right now. Looks like they've got some uh, concerns happening in the traffic department. And without any violence, but him of beating her and choking her. We're looking to see if there's a second vehicle. Battle against ISIS is really their fight first. Our no. I didn't either. Uh, but the tow truck's there. there. Let's like widen wider. out. We'll see if... Uh, oh, no. You yep, see it in the middle of the intersection there. there. Yeah. Okay, quite a ways away. So it is interesting how, you know, something. it's more often than not, it's a higher-centered vehicle, like a truck or an SUV that yeah. rolls. And uh, so that's what happened. That vehicle's on its roof. The other car looks like it got its front front end pretty well. Crunched. It looks like some of the roads there are um, are restricted as well. So if this is part of your morning commute, you may want to take another another way into work. And now this. another Fox 10 news alert. Pictures coming in from 12th Street and Jefferson, which is the office of the Phoenix New Times. And these pictures were taken just moments ago. Police checking out a suspicious package, a box, you see it right there, that was left outside the New Times building. They actually closed down 11th Street at Jefferson for a while. The, you, a matter of fact, in that one shot, you could see how just beyond is the Chase Field. So to give you some sort of frame of reference, it's basically right downtown. They brought in a bomb-sniffing dog. The dog didn't detect anything, so they opened it up and found ashes. A bunch of burned up issues of the new times. So whether somebody was trying to make a, some kind of a strange, uh, you know, political statement, statement or yeah. something is still unclear, but it's all clear in that area around 12th Street and Jefferson. In court this morning, the judge in Sheriff Joe Arpaio's contempt case gets another update from attorneys on how it's proceeding. A status conference getting underway at 10 this morning. Arpaio's attorneys have requested Judge Marie Snow be removed from the case because they say he's biased. The she reportedly said that the judge hates the sheriff. The sheriff is accused of not following a judge's order after his department was found to be racially profiling Latino. Crew Devon Durant ex to get hit her but later denied it suspension and allow him back to football program. Then we've got the story of a West after he's accidentally shot with an pain and embarrassment. He's also facing hurdles in his recovery. Uh, we're going to call him Jose. He doesn't want us to use his full humiliation. He lost part of his genitals in a shooting accident. The accident happened two years ago at his friend's house. The I just remember waking up in the hospital after that and then they told me what happened, that they were sorry. Remember anything from that day? Like, I mean, is it still kind of a blur? They said in the area, cosmetic. So Jose's mother started an online campaign to raise money. A GoFundMe account has been set up for that surgery. And we set up a link on our website. Big talker for some. Surgery ads for my sister's closet. After all, the ads were originally pulled for being too provocative. One says buy a bigger chest. It refers to a chest of drawers, as you can see here from the billboard. Another says wanted one nightstand, referring to a nightstand. The owner of the store says only one ad was not approved. We did have to make one compromise with Valley Metro. and We were not allowed to run the well-suited ad that said, make a booty call. They're all in fun. It's like any advertising. It's a play on words. It's a double entendre, but it's, it's not meant to offend anyone.
The owner says she's been running this campaign ad through other venues for several years. Lots of folks, you know, you probably have seen these all around town, all over some of those billboards. Store employees and supporters held a party last night to celebrate <laughs> the approval oh, of the ad. So Valley Metro got a sense of humor, you're saying. It's still a mess in Texas. Boy, I hate to tell you, but it rained yeah. pretty hard overnight, too. So in some areas, rivers are rising. In others, they're receding. But in those places, only to reveal more death and destruction. And even in Oklahoma, folks are trying to dry out there, but the troubles that they have still ahead of them. Top 50 farmers markets in the U.S. They'll be live in studio showing us what tasty treats they have this summer. And I'm Anita Roman. Sunday, beat the heat with our top 10.